Welcome to the Ford stand at the 2014 Detroit Motor Show. Now, for us, as you can see, the big news is the Mustang, which is just behind. It all seems very odd. We've got all the sort of European stuff here, so there are fiestas and focuses hanging around the place. But of course, this is also coming to Europe. It looks, well, it looks smaller in the metal. Uh, talking about metal, it's mostly steel panels, but it's also got aluminium for the bonnets and the front, front fenders, wheel arches there. It's uh, about the same size as an M6, but it, it does look smaller than the old car, particularly around the rear, as you'll see in a second when it comes around this way. This, as you can see from badges, is the 5-litre car, so 5-litre V8, putting out 420 brake horsepower and about 390 pounds for the torque. However, intriguingly, it's probably the right word, they're also going to put a four-cylinder engine into this. It's a 2.3-litre EcoBoost engine and that puts out about 305 brake horsepower and about 300 pounds for the torque. Whether people in Europe will go for it anyway, I don't know. Whether they'll go for it with a four-cylinder engine in it, I really can't see it happening. Anyway, looks pretty good. But there's some other news from the Ford stand, which is particularly pertinent to the American market, and that's just over there. This is the brand new 2015 Ford F-150, here as you can see in King Ranch spec. Uh, complete with keypad on the door for getting in. Anyway, it's uh, obviously going to sell an absolute bucket loads for Ford and it's fairly exciting. However, the most impressive F-150 is in fact just over there. The coolest F-150 on the Ford stand is this. As you can probably tell, it completed the Baja 1000 race. The arguably one of the toughest, it's probably, it's like the Dakar, but sort of run over one day. And although those of you who know your F-150s will know that this is a 2014 front end to it, but underneath it's all a 2015 car, so they used the race as a sort of ultimate durability test. As it completed the race successfully, they thought, well, why don't we just keep on going? So in fact, they drove this car then all the way back to Dearborn, although apparently they did put some sort of makeshift windscreen in just to save their faces. I think it looks really, really cool, and it's just cemented my desire to do the Baja 1000 one day, if anyone's listening.